In this short tutorial, we'll be discussing the hydrolysis of amides. Remember, an amide is an organic compound or a functional group that's formed when you get a carboxylic acid coming together with an amine. And when they come together, it's somewhat of a condensation reaction because water is released. In order to break an amide, therefore, you need water. So this is why we use water to break it, given the name hydrolysis. The question reads, draw the condensed structural formulas and give the IUPAC names for the products of the hydrolysis of N-methyl pentanamide with sodium hydroxide. Let's begin by drawing out what N-methyl pentanamide looks like. We have pent, which means that the longest carbon chain is five carbons long. Let me show you that. The last carbon will have the carbonyl group. We have CH3, H2, H2, H2. And bonded to this carbon is the amine part, and this is called an amide bond right here. And bonded to this nitrogen, according to this part of the name, is a methyl group. So let's place that methyl group right here, CH3, NH, and we're good to go. So that's what the molecule looks like. We have this coming together with sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base, so it dissociates completely. Now it's important to note that when amides undergo base hydrolysis with the introduction of heat, they produce a carboxylate salt and an amine or ammonia. So keep that in mind moving forward. So in a hydrolysis reaction, the amide bond is broken between the carboxyl group atom and the nitrogen atom. So expect this part to break. The carboxylate salt looks like this. It's pretty much the same except you'll have a charged end. So you'll have carbon double bonded to oxygen. The oxygen atom and sodium atom from NaOH will form the carboxylate part over here. And the sodium molecule, given that it's positive, will be attracted to this end, forming sodium pentanoate. So this is called sodium pentanoate. Notice that we dropped the amide suffix and replaced it with O-A-T-E, which is the suffix we use to represent carboxylates, the ion version of carboxylic acids. And you also have this part coming together with this end of the molecule, where we end up with NH2 single bonded to methyl. This molecule is called methanamine. Methanamine. That's the IUPAC name for both. Let's move on to question two. Draw the condensed structural formulas for the products obtained from the hydrolysis of N-methylbutyramide with hydrobromic acid. Before we begin this, amides undergo acid hydrolysis with heat to produce a carboxylic acid and an ammonium salt. Notice the difference here. We're producing a carboxylic acid as opposed to a salt, carboxylate salt. So let's go ahead and draw this molecule. This is a common name for butanamide. Okay, so butanamide is a four carbon chain. Let me show you. CH2, CH2, and C double bonded to oxygen. Given that it is an amide, this is bonded to nitrogen. That's single bonded to CH3, which accounts for this part, and a hydrogen. So that's what the molecule looks like. And this will come together with HBr plus H2O. Expect two things to happen here. A carboxylic acid forms and an ammonium salt. So the carboxylic acid will be this part. Let me rewrite that. And then the functional group. That's the carboxyl group right there. And you have this part of the molecule, this part, that will form an ammonium salt. So we should have NH2 plus another hydrogen, which makes this positive and CH3. A complete summary of what happens when something is hydrolyzed with an acid and a base is shown on your screen. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment below and we'll gladly answer them. Hope to hear from you soon.